in San Diego Comic Con 2014 here at Source Fed Nerd. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Marina Scully. Now, if, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is the end of Comic Con. Yes. By the looks night of night. absolute tiredness on our faces, and it's just we're done. We're tired. But, night night. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap it up for you guys real quick. How you doing, Raina? I'm alright. I'm yeah. alright. Yeah. I actually feel like it was a lot more crowded last year. Really? But it was kind of more overwhelming this year. I don't know what it is. I feel like the security is different. Aren't they different? This year? Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll give you a couple of nerd ranty different oh, things. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Get it. Like, no. like, um, look, a staple of comic conning, and actually a staple of just conning in general, uh -huh. mm -hmm. is uh, being able to just kind of like put your shit down, have a seat, sit down, relax. Yeah. I mean, basically, sit. Or take know? a picture with someone who's cosplaying one of your favorite characters. Right, exactly. and it's just, I feel like, I don't know what happened, but it was like, the Comic-Con security, or like the elite, or whoever it is, yeah. was told that like sitting places is no longer code No code. sitting yeah. and no stopping. And like, it, yeah. no leaning either. No leaning. No leaning. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. I mean, and look, I, I, I the clientele of a Comic Con, we need to sit, all right? I've yeah. been walking all day. I need to sit. I'm and, four days we've been walking. <laughs> well, yeah, and we and your and, feet hurt. These are long days. Yeah. Even sneakers, they hurt. Exactly. <laughs> and and look, there's just not enough seating at Comic Con. I mean, look, it's one of those things that's like there really isn't. I mean, I, we're sharing a table with a lot of people right now, uh -huh. and, it, and that's how it is at Comic Con, and that's fine. But it's like you know when you got to sit down, and even Dan Harmon, who I was talking to at the Rick and Morty oh, thing. Shut I did. up your Awful. face. I know, right? <laughs> Name drop. Even my pal Dan Harmon yeah, and I were just no hanging out. Okay. No, but he, he was even saying like, cons are about, like, you're not a real nerd unless you're sitting and like reading a comic book on the comic that book floor. That you just bought. Yeah. yeah, that you oh, just yeah. bought. Exactly. Like, you can't sit anymore. And that's like, no. that's kind of like my nerd rant over. Mm. But that was one of the new things. As far as being okay. crowded go though, crowded goes. It like, wasn't as bad as last Saturday, year. Saturday. I really thought last year. But have you guys been on the floor today? Yeah. Not today. Okay. I've been You've been on the floor today. Yes. For me, it was madness, really? especially oh, over yeah, by the WB, WB booth because that makes sense. they had a Hobbit signing, they had a True Blood yeah. signing, mm -hmm. and always the middle aisle at Comic Con oh. is a cluster. The it's middle's just, crazy. Yeah. Don't ever walk through there. No. That's not what you're supposed to do it's at all. News, right? Raina and I were doing our scavenger hunt the other day, and we kept having to go to the outside walls yeah. just to like have to. move around the floor. But speaking of WB, WB's panel today, mm. I was trying to like read up it on it a little bit. Neither of you got to go, did you? No, no, no. but all the news spilled out onto my social media yes. and everything and we heard the, all the big news. You saw Gal Gadot's new Wonder yes. Woman outfit? Yes. I didn't. You haven't seen it? Oh my gosh, please explain. I think we need to show it to her. I, we I might mean, just need to show it to you. Yeah, I'll pull it up. Yeah, so we saw the new Wonder Woman costume. They showed a little bit of uh, Batman v Superman. Yeah, they described uh, mm -hmm. a, tr a kind of like a teaser for uh, Batman versus Superman. A stare down. And basically, mm -hmm. yeah, so what it was was apparently we get a shot of Affleck in his full Batman regalia, yeah. but it's not the suit we've seen. It's like an right. armored version, kind of like the Dark Knight Returns. And he like, uh, he, I guess his eyes are glowing white. Uh -huh. Not sure if that's an effect for something else or if it's a okay. practical thing for his mask. And he pulls a, 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 a rag, or like he pulls a sheet off of the bat uh -huh. signal and it and it projects into the sky and then it shows in the sky that Superman is flying around the bat signal. Oh, and then he looks, yeah. He looks at Batman with his, his eyes start to light up and it looks like he's kind of angry and then it cuts. So that's all they showed. That sounds amazing, yeah. that, but that sounds short. Very yeah, short. Very short. Very well, short. because then yeah. they had to go on and talk about Hobbit news, and apparently they showed like Ian McKellen's gag reel of the mess ups from the previous Hobbit movies, which would be amazing to see. Oh my goodness, this Wonder Woman is banging. Yeah, I mean, I, I I feel like there's a lot of there's you know a, like a million nerd voices crying out in anger at once about maybe her build and how she's not so voluptuous. Right. You know, Wonder Woman. I don't know about voluptuous. voluptuous. It's just she's an Amazon. Yeah. You're looking for like a Lucy Lawless build, yeah. then she's not a Lucy Lawless build. Oh, yeah. I see. I mean, it looks like she's kind of got this armor thing going. You know, it's it's very Still different in the Superman mm -hmm. uh, in this new kind of universe that Zack Snyder is setting up. It seems like it's they're they're not kind of keeping with the well, they're, they're not touching this kind of Nolan verse that's more grounded in reality type. Oh, right. Even though they kind of are, but it seems like this is definitely more comic booky and more fantasy uh, mm. than than like the Nolan verse with Batman. Well, so. and I like that. We yeah. have the Nolan films. Right. Let's get something new and Why different. Not? 
Why yeah. not? It yeah. feels like that's kind of the route that all these production companies are taking now. Like they got really realistic in the 90s, I feel, or they tried to get realistic. Um, and now they're kind of bringing back the whole like flair of the really colorful concept of it being a comic book or it was yeah. originally a comic book. I appreciate that. I like that. I like flashy, so. Speaking yeah. of flashy comic books, um, they announced that uh, for Comixology, the, the comics will be DRM free now. You can download oh, them cool. and view them offline on your devices, and I'm very excited wow. about that. Cool. When does that start? <laughs> wait a minute. You, wait. Ooh. Starting like yesterday or the day before. Stop. Yeah. That's amazing. So everyone who's been pirating comics and has had that ability <laughs> for years, Stop right. doing it because now, now they're DRM evil. free. <laughs> <laughs> Just like with I all mean, the music you, you bought, all, <laughs> that you literally bought, all the music you bought here. <laughs> but yeah, you know, support comics, guys. We don't Come on. condone piracy. We don't. No. But I mean, you know, it's, it, it happens. But yeah, so um, what were some other big things announced? I mean, I don't know. You, can I, uh, man, I, I Another nerd rant I'm coming. Like, I can oh, smell yeah. it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, I, one of the big things I love about Comic-Con is um, <laughs> you can go to a studio's booth and be like, so what, what kind of screening is going on at Comic-Con this year? And nine times out of ten, they'll be like, come back Thursday morning yeah. and, get, and you'll get a screening ticket to something. I've seen Captain America early. Uh -huh. I saw Shaun of the Dead early. Uh -huh. I saw Scott Pilgrim early. I, I mean, face. every Comic-Con <laughs> I've, I've seen some screening to something. Mm -hmm. And this is the first Comic-Con where, I, at least as far as I know, there's been zero screenings. Guardians of the Galaxy comes any. out literally in a week, and it's not mm -hmm. here. Turtles comes out mm -hmm. in like a couple of weeks, and it's not here. There's no screenings. I don't know not what's going that, on. Not that I've seen either. Now, maybe we're yeah. just not VIP enough to get invited. It's not even that. But I mean, I look, even them. before I was a SourceFed guy, in fact, I haven't used my SourceFed or YouTube cloud no. at all to get into a screening. No, he's just like, what up? I'm Steve Zaragoza. When I, look, when I would come here as just a fan, not working, mm -hmm. years ago, yeah. you could just watch walk up to a booth and be like, where's the screening? Right. And yeah. get in. I just feel like there's a lot of TV. This is almost like the year of TV 100%, at Comic-Con. 100%, yes. More than anything. 100%, yes. And I'm so jealous I didn't get to go to the Penny Dreadful panel. Well, Sarah oh. went, uh, my yes. wife went to the Sarah Penny Dreadful the Penny panel, Dreadful. and I guess they're talking about a new antagonist for the next season, a character you've seen already. And a uh, bunch of cool stuff. All the, the actors were there. I guess um, Eva Green was not there. Otherwise, okay. I would have felt her presence somewhere. Yeah, you I knew would. She have. Wasn't here. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, Penny Dreadful, Walking Dead. Uh, so many Game great. Game of Thrones. Shield. So many so many great TV panels here this year. Yeah. yeah. And but I mean the lines have been astronomical. I saw Very the line crazy. for Hall H and it's insane. Oh, yeah. I watched the people um, sleeping on the night when we came back from dinner. Mm -hmm. They were all lined up everywhere in like the snake line yeah. and I heard that they're not allowed to use tents anymore or cots whatsoever. So you have, they're just out. You have out. to sleep on the floor. You have to sleep on the floor and you only get one sleeping bag per person. They say if you bring more than one thing or if you bring a cooler, they're going to confiscate it. That's so mean. I mean, look, I, look, Comic Cons gets bigger and bigger every year. Yeah. The space gets smaller almost. <laughs> yeah, well, and there's, it feels like it. They, there's literally nowhere for the convention center to expand unless they want to like build onto the bay, which right. is, I guess, possible if they yeah. want to. But I mean, there's a park right there. There's no well, way. I mean, TV. TV Guide has the TV Guide yacht back there, so they are literally expanding out onto well, the I water mean, I, at this I, point. I, now, this is going to sound, I mean, look, this isn't coming from me, but I've heard a lot of people who are exhibitors here, I've heard from them that who have been exhibitors for years, that Comic-Con is kind of turning into South by Southwest. It's yes. like, it's Ooh, there's okay. concerts going on, there's all this uh, pop culture media, yeah. you know, mm. TV, like the comics Almost have, commercial. the comics have always, the comics and art have always taken kind of a backseat to Comic-Con, I'd say in the past 10 years or so, mm -hmm. but now it's it's like video games are bigger here than comic yeah, books. Yeah, there's video games here at the True. end of the hall this year, like more yeah, than last the year, I feel yeah. like, yeah, too. definitely. But yeah, I mean, the, the stars of Comic-Con used to be the Comic Stan Lee Con. and the Paul Dini. Yeah, and the Mike know, Mignolas. Yeah, and, yeah. exactly. And now, now it's, oh my god, Matthew McConaughey's here! Ah! I mean, yeah, look, it's cool. We, I mean, look, I, I, I am definitely not saying, uh, I'm not complaining about being a cumber bitch and having my cumber batch here. Uh, that was great. And uh, there were some big celebrities here for sure. Did you see cumber batch this year? I didn't, but I saw oh, photos. I mean, look, okay. you know he's here. You I can know hear he's the, here. The, the base of his voice just vibrates mm. the tiny bones in your ears. I hear the necromancer and I get excited. Nice. I get it. Oh, you know what's really cool that I heard? I heard that Daniel Radcliffe was running yes. around yeah. in a Spider Man So outfit, that's another thing. And he was hit. So, really? so yeah, that's, yes. that's another thing. Like Crazy. a lot, a lot of celebrities, um, they've been doing it for a while. Like I know um, Adam uh, from MythBusters 
yes. would come every year dressed as something, and he would have kind of like a scavenger hunt. Like if you found him, oh. it was kind of like, I'll take a picture with you or something. Yeah. But now <laughs> it's really been like a trend that like big celebrities want to walk around the convention center. So Jack Black was here with a Stormtrooper helmet on. Nice. And uh, I Daniel heard he got Ratcliffe. thrown out of something. I don't know what oh, that no. is. I haven't. Heard, I didn't hear about that. But if you guys know, let us know in the comments. But yeah, Daniel, Rat Daniel Ratcliffe was in a Spider-Man outfit, and I th and I think there was there were others too. But yeah. you know, I I kind of snuck in uh, before the convention hall opened, and and I saw that there were some celebrities like kind of running around before the crowds yeah. came in. Like I saw Seth Green, I saw Guillermo del Toro, Ooh. and uh, that's all I can think of right now. But yeah, God, I don't they know. need their that's exclusives too. Look, if I if it if it got to the point where I wouldn't be able to go and buy exclusives because like I just can't move, oh. then of course I would get into a costume and walk around because I love Comic Con yeah. and I don't want to stop enjoying it for what it is. That's how we're gonna get Steve to cosplay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Although I was this I was this close to bringing my George R. R. Martin outfit and doing because I haven't seen any George R. R. Martins. I was really surprised. George, actual George, has been around this entire convention at a ton of different things. You could have met him as George. Yeah. As George. George it, meets George. It would have been like a tear in space time and it would have ruined <laughs> yeah. everything if it had happened. Or made everything wonderful. Yeah. Who knows? But, yeah, who knows? But yeah. yeah, I don't know. It was a good con this year. Very tiring. A lot of work. <laughs> it's always a lot of work. And I know a lot of people who actually, uh, you know, they're critics and, and they come to Comic-Con to work that say, mm -hmm. like, Comic-Con hasn't even started and I'm tired. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. Like, like I know there's a lot of... Fun. It's still fun. It's still fun. And there's a lot of you that are like, yeah. I wish I could go to Comic-Con. You guys are so lucky. And yeah, I'm not, like, you know, saying that, like, oh, man, I wish I could just be at home and sleeping because I don't want to stop no. coming mm. to Comic-Con. Oh, no. And as much as we say it's so much busier and security makes you move and it's so celeb infested now those are all still good things because it's comic-con yeah and yeah. it's still fun you know, you know it's i know we didn't get to see any panels but like it's still fun we get to do what we want we're nerds in a toy store essentially you know yeah. Yeah, and, and yeah. kind of as, as a really quick aside too, like I feel like I spent more time outside of the convention center than I did inside oh. doing Comic Con type stuff. Like but there's so much this year. So much, there's and they're so much. And, and they're always like they've been doing it for a couple of years now. But the other they've mm -hmm. been bringing programming to the other hotels, mm -hmm. and they've been bringing yeah. uh, you know events. But like you know, Adult Swim had stuff set up at Petco at Park, Petco. and there were all these things going on. They had the Assassin's so Creed thing things. going. The Assassin's yeah. Creed was so and much fun. It was so yeah. scary. So, <laughs> they, they had you wouldn't stuff. have done it. It, oh man, I wasn't feeling oh, good no. that oh, day. No. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I, and that's fine. Like I, I'm not. I'm, there's no signs of stopping for me with Comic Con. I am not going to stop coming, regardless of how tired I am, regardless yeah. of how crowded it gets. Yeah. As long as I'm able to get that ticket somehow, I am here. It's I'm back. Jam. That's okay. exactly how I yeah. feel. I would never miss it, even if I couldn't get a ticket for whatever reason. Like if I missed my badge registration, I would come anyway because there's so much to do outside the yeah. convention center now. Mm -hmm. Like exactly. Yeah. For me, for me, this is year nine. Yeah, I think yeah. something Ooh. like that. And I, I, I'm never stopping. Yeah. But hold on a second. Hear me. Now, Comic Con, if you're watching this, I spent seventy-five thousand dollars on your dumb con food that tastes like crap. In fact, I, I, I dropped twenty bucks on the most disgusting hamburger I've ever had in my 75, life. Seventy-five thousand. Okay. Look, I've been coming here for like fourteen years. Do the math. Oh, all right, if the, not, if the, not, not this con. No, if the yeah. burger is like twelve dollars, and it, look, okay. the point I'm trying to make is, if you're gonna make me spend twelve dollars on an old bad burger that tastes like I'm eating a like a shoe a with a rat in it. Oh no. Then let me sit on the floor and eat it at least. Huh? They have salads too, to be fair. Yeah. They do have salads. <laughs> that also tastes like a shoe with a rat in it. But yeah, if I'm spending all this money for you guys and you know it's bad, don't be like, what are you talking about? You know the food's bad. I, let me sit on the floor and eat it for God's sakes. At the very yeah. least, let you relax. Let yeah, me have these, a seat. these cosplay heels are rough, man. Sometimes I need to sit down. Yeah, and we're in heels, man. Yeah, yeah me on. too. <laughs> so now that we've just finished whining for a while, we love you, Comic Con. Yes, we do. Thank you so much for being here so that we can come and nerd out once a year, have our Christmas. I buy most of my clothes. This time yes, every year. All my, clothes, yeah. my suitcase is going to be filled with new cool t shirts yeah. and toys. And toys. And nice yeah. hoodies. So many exclusives yeah. and yeah. things I can't and even And prints and stuff. Prints. Ooh, 
yeah. yeah. Oh, the Acme booth prints. That was my oh, favorite part. Shout out to Acme. Acme. Shout out to Acme. Acme Archives, you guys are the best. You're beautiful. We love you. We love everything you do. Thank you so much. We love you. So lots of love from us to you. Um, if you're feeling the love too, please like this video. Subscribe to Source Fed Nerd. You can even click this annotation. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I'm so sad Comic Con's over. I'm I tired. Know. I'm kind of sad. It's sad. bittersweet because yeah, it's, it's bittersweet. like I want to go home to my bed that feels literally like a cloud. <laughs> and I'm done. Like cloud from Final Fantasy? Ooh. No.